Hi everyone, welcome to another How I Made This. This series of loops added up to a minute of animation, which I completed over a week or two. The background was made in TV Paint, starting out with grayscale, as I do for most of my backgrounds. While I could use other programs to make the backgrounds, I'm very comfortable in TV Paint, and it has all the brushes and blending modes I need. Starting out with grayscale helps create variation in tone to bring attention to different elements in the background. And when I get around to adding colour and texture layers, it's less likely to turn into a grey mush. The story behind this character is that they are studying for an exam to be able to journey to space and explore different planets. So I included a lot of hints to that in the background through posters, drawings, calendars. It's not super obvious, but it's pretty busy, so there's a lot of detail once you start looking. The way I separated this background was the foreground elements, like the laptop, would be first, then the desk and objects on it, after that was the clothes rail, and finally the wall and rest of the background. The rail needed to be separate because the cat was going to leap up and over it. This would make it easier to split the animation layer and arrange it when I needed to. Animating the character was pretty straightforward, and I did this in Blender using the grease pencil tools. There's not much full body animation or any extreme changes, so it was quick to rotate the head and use the sculpt tool when I wanted them to lean in a certain direction. The blinks were animated on a separate layer, which made timing those easier, especially when they needed to be copied across the timeline to break up points where everything was a bit too still. I added a noise modifier with very low settings just to give the line work and colour a nice boil. This is an effect that I love to use in my work, and I found using a boil allows you to hold a pose or expression longer than you would be able to otherwise. A more extreme boil can also be used to exaggerate emotions like excitement, embarrassment or turmoil, depending on how you use it. This rough animation was a lot neater than it usually is, so I didn't need to do a lot of cleanup for this one. Normally, I'd completely redo everything on a new layer, but there were just a few tiny points in the shoulders that needed adjusting. The blinks and expressions were drawn over, and I made some extra lines to close off the bottom of the jacket that would make colouring easier. This part I wasn't too precious with because the laptop would hide most of it. The first pass for the cat, on the other hand, was much rougher and did need full cleanup on a new layer. Colouring this was actually a lot faster than normal and pretty painless, which was good. I didn't have a ton of movement or teeny tiny details, so I could use the multi-frame colouring feature, which took a second to fill, but I think was quicker than doing each frame by hand, as I'd done in previous projects. It's best to experiment with the thickness and other settings in the fill tool to make sure that you're catching as much of the line work as you can. There were still tiny areas that wouldn't fill, so I used a pen tool with the fill material to correct those. Usually I'd only use the colour attribute option, but for this one I actually bit the bullet and tried making new materials for each colour. It's definitely more convenient when you want to make an adjustment. I just had to remember to make a new material if I wanted a stroke instead of a fill, because changing the material surface after it's been used affects everything. Everywhere it's been used. Luckily, switching back is easy, so I definitely think I'll be using materials a lot more in the future. Since I really enjoyed adding little stars to the cat whenever he appeared or left a shot, I definitely want to do more effects animations going forward. Once everything was lined and coloured, I exported the loops individually to bring into TV Paint. Here I arranged everything in the proper order in the background and added extra textures with blend modes to make sure everything fit together nicely. The loops were then copied many, many times and arranged for our first lo-fi mix. We're hoping to do plenty of different styles and topics, which is perfect for me because I love doing a lot of different things. The one I'm working on next is a loop made entirely in Blender with a single 3D element. I'm starting slow with the 3D because I don't want to try and do too much all at once and absolutely hate it, so baby steps, but still progress. If you want to see more animation walkthroughs, check this out. 